And it's hard to believe it was 17 years ago a nation watched the horror unfold at Columbine High School. The student escaping from that broken window, other students fleeing their hands in the air. And the yearbook photos of the two gunmen, on the right there, Dylan Klebold. And tonight, for the first time ever, Klebold's mother is now breaking her silence about warning signs missed, about a life in hiding for 17 years. Here's Diane Sawyer with her exclusive. The police were there and the helicopters were going over. And I remember thinking, if this is true, if Dylan is really hurting people, somehow he has to be stopped. And that at that moment I prayed that he would die, that God, stop this, just make it stop. Don't let him hurt anybody. And so her quest begins. She says she goes back over every year of her life with a magnifying glass, looking for the path of her son's descent and the clues that she missed. It's sometimes he would seem, you know, distant or quiet. And I remember asking him, are you okay? Are you sure you're okay? You seem so tired. And he'd stand up and say, I've got a lot of homework. I just, I need to go to bed. And you let it go. And I let it go. And that's the difference. If it were me today, I would dig and dig and dig. I felt that I was a good mom, that he, would, he could talk to me about anything. Part of the shock of this was, was that learning that what I believed and how I lived and how I parented was um, an invention in my own mind, that it, it was a completely different world that he was living in. She says not a day goes by she doesn't think of the victims and their families. I just remember sitting there and reading about them. All these kids and the teacher. And I keep thinking, constantly thought how I would feel if it were the other way around and one of their children had shot mine. I would feel exactly the way they did. I know I would. I know I would. And Diane is with us now. 17 years have gone by, so why now? She says it took a long time to stare the truth in the face, to go back over her life, look at every part of it. She's been on a quest to understand how she missed what she missed, what she failed to grasp, what she should have done differently. And she's also been talking to experts to try to make sure that it might be useful to some other parent, which is why we're doing this hour tonight, hoping to prevent it from happening again. Diane, thank you. And a special edition of 2020, a Diane Sawyer exclusive, Silence Broken, A Mother's Reckoning, tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern, right here. Diane.